Now, so we'll get to the juicy stuff. Oh, yeah, the juicy stuff. The, you, the secrets. You haven't even drank your beer, man. That's the, juicy stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, it's almost gone. Mm. The, but yeah, the stuff that I can't, that I am finally allowed to talk about. So okay. yes, I, uh, I am like a, uh, I am like a fan, fan employee, kind of unpaid fan employee, helping Atari out. So. There are some things that I know which I cannot disclose. It's not that I don't want to disclose them. It's just I can't without their blessing, lest I get in major trouble. <laughs> uh, I do not want to get in major trouble, so I will not be leaking stuff out for the sake of YouTube videos. Um, finally got an update today on something that many, many, many people, especially in Discord, have been asking about for a long time. It is the next Atari operating system update. Mm. Fabled, it's been like, it's been this mystical thing that's kind of never really had a real type of announcement, but it's just kind of like there, like just, you can kind of see it and then it goes away like a ghost. <laughs> well, finally, we have something we can grab onto. I have two things that I am able to to announce. Uh, well, technically three. Number one, the update is coming Monday, barring any unforeseen issues. I don't know all of the updates that it's going to do. Mm. I do know of two that they said that I am allowed to... Uh, that I'm allowed to uh, discuss and and we can talk about it on the show. The first one is it's going to have it's going to turn on the leaderboards. Oh, so that's that, really good news. Now is that going to now the here? That's all I know is it leader leaderboards. So I don't know if that's going to incorporate like friend list leaderboards, like in the recharge stuff, or okay. what. So. That's, I, I think, I know a lot of people have been asking for that. So that I know that that is going to be very welcome news. Cool. That'll be fun. I mean, at least if it, if it keeps a record of it, you can compare it with a friend, something like that. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and then, so there was the, the leaderboards. And then let me see what was the other one. I thought I wrote it down. There's one I'm hoping for, but we'll see if it if it's in there. Oh, oh. I don't know if this will be a big deal to people or not. Um, but it's also going to have an Atari 2600 emulator built into the operating system now. That is going to have two free games. Now oh. the games are vault games, so. They're like already kind of there, but yeah. eh, it is what it is. So, yeah. So we're getting the new. We're Atari OS is getting an update. It's coming this Monday. You're getting leaderboards are going to be activated, and you're getting an Atari twenty six hundred emulator. Does uh, that mean that the, they'll have like they do with the other ones with the seventy eight hundred and DOS box? That there'll yes. be some games coming through that. Maybe ones that are not in the vault that are. I I am. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know for sure, and that that's just me not knowing. That's not Atari told me, and I can't right. tell you. Okay. It, I I genuinely don't don't know if they. So for Flashback Fridays, are they going to start releasing non vaulted twenty six hundred games? I hope so. Well, or, if they do, that's going to bring some more life to to the to the Friday, you know, because that's gosh, I mean, twenty six hundred or so many games. I mean, I don't know how many of those they actually have full rights to, but um, but there's a lot there to work with. And actually, Dave Paul just brought just brought it up that that was that was exactly what I was just about to mention that oh, that yeah. twenty six hundred emulator, especially if they if they worked with uh, like Atari Age to have uh if they could work with atari age to have the homebrew roms yeah. to where they could be purchased electronically and then like split the difference and and, and okay. have them uh that would be great to think about that though i mean think about that i mean right now those homebrews are on a cartridge you got to pay pretty decent price of money to get those things right i mean this could be like 
I don't know. There, there may be other options out there, but this would be the easiest option for somebody who wants a console that has these Atari 2600 homebrews. And you'd have this nice thick, you know, just library of games that you can just get. And then it kind of in a way makes those exclusive in a way to the console because you would maybe be able to play those anywhere else unless you bought the actual cartridge and had the old hardware. Yeah, and, and I did bring up to Atari. I haven't heard I should follow up. I haven't followed up yet. But when we talked about the links and we talked about Songbird Productions, I, I did make mention to Atari that, hey, look, why don't you ask Songbird if you can uh if you could get digital copies and sell them on Atari OS and you guys both make money on that stuff, then you don't have to worry about manufacturing carts and you're making money selling games. Like oh, yeah. song, I'm sure Dude. Songbird would love to have the money and Atari OS would love to have the content. Can you imagine if the Lynx games started coming to the, Oh, that would be, well, you we know what Jaguar games. Yeah. <laughs> what would be crazy is if you had, Jaguar, 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 Jaguar. They need to hire her and come back and do this. <laughs> yeah, 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 and do another commercial. Hi, you've just watched a clip from the Atari Weekly Podcast. Join me every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the live show. Make sure you subscribe so you get that notification when the show is about to start. We'll discuss whatever is new in the world of Atari VCS, as well as anything else that comes to mind. So hope to see you there, and thanks for watching.